all right YouTube and Fallout community. So uh, this is gonna be a discussion video, and um, you know th I like to do these because when it comes to something like other things that are like top tens and like facts about the game and tips and tricks and things like that, you know those are all kind of scripted, write down ideas and things. This is something I can just do and kind of talk off the top of my head. Maybe have a few things written down to talk about. But anyways, me and one of my uh, Twitter and YouTube friends, uh, Wasteland Wonder, were like uh, we've been talking about Alone Wonder here recently a lot. Because he has an idea for a video. And it got me thinking a little bit about the Lone Wonder. Because, you know, we're talking, you don't really know what happened Lone Wonder after uh, Fallout 3. Like, there's kind of a blank spot. And then we know, like, if you read the wiki, uh, that, it, like, in the year, like, 2297 or something, he left the Capital Wasteland. But, you know, we kind of don't know what happened in between the ending of Fallout 3 and that 2297. So, uh, an idea I had was, like, that I think would be cool for Fallout 4 is the Lone Wonder, like, having a DLC about the Lone Wonder, and the, my ideas for it were something along the lines of, like, Mass Effect game, and what that what that means, what I mean by that nice. is that, like, may, maybe, okay, there's several ideas that this that you could do with this, but what mine is, is, like, you get to play as the Lone Wonder, or maybe you get to play as the Fallout 4 protagonist and meet up with the Lone Wonder in the DLC, however that might be, but, like, maybe you can play as the Lone Wonder. Maybe, maybe you... Like, say, okay, the reason why I, this idea came to me is Xbox One backwards compatibility. So your, your save file is going to be on your Xbox One. Why can't Bethesda make a DLC where, like, it checks your save file for Fallout 3 if you have a save file? And maybe you load up maybe you load up into this DLC um, as, the, as a Lone Wonder from Fallout 3 at your current level with your current equipment. Um, which sounds a little crazy, but um, maybe, it's, maybe it's a DLC that's standalone. Think of something like Far Cry 3's Blood Dragon. You didn't play as... Uh, the main character from Fallout, or from, from uh, Far Cry 3, he plays a totally different guy. You're kind of on the same island, but there's a lot of different things. But he is a standalone. It had nothing to do with Far Cry 3. And that's kind of what this could be. Which, I mean, some people might, might like that, some people might hate that. I think it'd be an original yeah. idea, kind of, for Bethesda, because all their DLC for all their games, you know, is you play as your character what, that you've been playing with since, you know, the beginning. And I think this would be a cool idea. And maybe, maybe in this DLC, um... Things change based on what you did in, in uh, Fallout 3, like the decision you you made. Like, did you put the FEV virus in the water, or didn't you? You know, things like that. <clears throat> maybe like uh, characters that died, like important characters that died in the story. Um, you know, maybe that if you didn't kill them, did kill them. It it would uh, change things that happen in this DLC. And another thing that'd be cool about this is, I mean, it just gives it. It's, they'd make a little more money because people would buy Fall, Fallout 3 for this reason, and it kind of give everybody an incentive to go back and play Fallout 3. And remember why we love the Fallout games, you know, and uh, wh why we're so excited about Fallout 4 and everything like that. And I, I just think this would be a, a really cool idea. I mean, yeah, because, Ma you know, Mass Effect was able to do this with, like, three of their games. Because I think things you did in the first one, carried over to the second one, and then between the first two games, it carried over to the third one. Um, I think it'd be, a, I think it's awesome, man. And uh, it'd be cool just to, like, you know, play as Lone Wonder again, even if it's just for a DLC. I mean, their DLCs are pretty big in Bethesda games. And I think that this... Uh, this idea, or something, or something along the lines, or like I said, it could be like maybe it's a DLC and you still play as your dude from Fallout 4, but you meet up with the Lone Wanderer, who you know just in his travels just happened to come to the Commonwealth, and maybe you meet up with him, and it's still the kind of the same. Maybe things that you did with that, you know, it can still be kind of like your Lone Wanderer character. It can still check your save file, and like the things that you did in Fallout 3 still affect this DLC in some way. I don't know. I mean, uh, there's... <laughs> I have I don't have any ideas for that, for what the, the DLC would, uh, you know, specifically be about. But I think that this would be a genius idea for Bethesda because, you know, it's, as fun as it is to get, you know, a new DLC, it's like, oh, here's a new... Because there's almost always a new area to go to um, or, like, another part of the map that you couldn't go to before. And as, as cool as that is, I think it'd be awesome to, like, somehow incorporate Fall, Fallout 3 into this. And, uh, you know, it's been, you know they're, they're really ignoring Fallout New Vegas. You know, it hasn't been mentioned once since, you know, the announcement of Fallout 4 and everything. They don't even, like, acknowledge it. So, uh, obviously, nothing from Fallout New Vegas would really carry over. Or maybe maybe they could do that. Who knows, you know? Maybe they're not so salty about Obsidian anymore. But, I don't know, guys. Let me know what you think about this idea. I, th I think it's pretty cool, honestly. Um... I would love to see the Lone Wonder, and we get like a, maybe a little backstory in Lone Wonder about what happened after Fallout 3. I don't know, guys. Purely discussion video, purely speculation. Let me know your thoughts below. Later.